It's day 312. Yes, not 512. Of the 29th year and beyond. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about, um, do you believe that separation in a marriage helps or hurts? Now, and let's you... focus on um, a type of separation where someone is either working out of state, someone's in the military, someone... Okay. Um, drives a truck, someone has been assigned a, uh, a temporary assignment. Got it. Sure? Got I just it. Got it. want to make sure, Mr. Yeah. So, <laughs> you are too funny. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the couple, it depends on the circumstances and situations. You know, being in different locations, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't call that a separation, um, but living separately. Mm -hmm. Let's say it that way, uh, because of job or you know things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Depending upon the couple and depending upon the circumstances, it could help or mm -hmm. it could hurt. Uh, and I think it largely gets back to what kind of foundation was built. Mm -hmm. Were there challenges and uh, uh, issues, major concerns prior to? Mm -hmm. You know, having an assignment that has one spouse one place mm -hmm. and the other spouse a different place, um, or were things really great? Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, I believe that all of those factors uh, come into play. Okay, so let's factor in our situation. Mm -hmm. um, there was it was a situation where you felt strongly about what you needed to do, mm -hmm. and I felt not so strongly about what you needed to right. do. Right. Okay. Well, you know, and, and this is one of the things when, when you're talking about, I mean, you know, so that everybody's clear, when you talk about uh, uh, being obedient to what you believe God is leading mm -hmm. you to do, um, because there are times when it may not make sense to others, mm -hmm. including family. Right. Right. Um, but being true to what you believe God is leading you to do. That was our situation. Right. And um, just said, okay, go with yourself. Go. Yeah, but not really. Mm. No, no, you didn't. I, no, I I told you to go ahead, but I told you I felt very strongly that that's that that is not what I had received from God, right. and that is what I told you. Right. But even but when, that, when when you said go ahead and go, those were your words, but yeah, that was not your but, genuine feeling. But I didn't try and stop you, and I I felt like I was a oh, but you did. <laughs> After I was there, no, I, mean, I felt like he was. I was as supportive as I could be. What was going on here? Yeah, did not have anything to do with you and I, and everything to do with another one of our family members that I was not able to handle on my own. Right, right. You know, so I, it wasn't me trying to get you to come back. It was just me trying to help you understand. Okay, I'm struggling here. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So, I understand. Yeah. So I mean help or hurt but I will say this that it did make me stronger but I did go through a you know a really rough time because I tell people all the time I tell my single mom I never wanted to be a single mother you know and he says well you weren't yes I was you know because I was still trying to juggle all the stuff that you know locally yes when I was not here right and and the thing is this uh you said um it strengthened you yes it did which is a great byproduct mm -hmm. however because of the hurt that you experienced during that time, mm -hmm. it was painful for me too. Oh, and, I'm sorry. Really? I didn't have any sympathy for you. I didn't I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm just being honest. Being honest. No, and I get yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But the reality is this because um, you don't want to uh, have the person that you love experience those challenges and the pain and the struggle and all of that. Um, whether it's something within your control or not. Right. I mean, that's just the reality. And True so, statement. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, even though um, I felt strongly about what God was leading me to do, mm -hmm. I did change course. Yeah. And I came back because of the support that you needed. Right. And uh, my uh, uh, belief that, yes, I needed to be able to assist and be here to to make certain that we were together mm -hmm. to be able to deal with you know everything that was occurring truly and i also you know with that you know because it was a spiritual thing you know i did support him in saying okay go ahead and go but there were circumstances that were extenuating and i felt like if 
this was something that God has sanctioned, this we, we wouldn't have been dealing with this. So we agree well, to disagree. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Part two. <laughs>